Hey everyone, this is the Viperian here and welcome back to the channel for another Crash Team Racing video. And this time we'll be taking a look at Electron Avenue Shortcut. And this is probably one of my most requested shortcut guide from you guys. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed my previous guides, so I'm sure that you enjoyed this one as much as I do. So just in case you don't know, the shortcut that I'm mentioning about is this particular U-turn shortcut. Now you might already know how to do the shortcut as it's probably one of the most popular one. But did you know that even though this is just one shortcut, there are actually three very different ways on taking the shortcut. Plus each of these ways actually serves their own purpose, so I'm going through each of them one by one. So to make things easier for you guys, I'm just going to separate each way based on their difficulty level which is easy, medium, and hard. Because based on my experience, each of them gets harder than the other. Let me show you right now and you'll see what I mean. So the one you see on the screen right now is an easier way. This one is what I would like to call the medium difficulty way. And finally, this one is a much harder way, but a faster way to do it. Do know that this is what the world record runners on the CTR leaderboard uses. And now I'm going to explain each of these methods and how to do it as efficient as possible. But first of all, you need to know how to perform an air break. So if you don't know already how, I'll just go through it really quickly. To perform an air break, while you're in the air, hold square, the down arrow key and the left or right arrow key depending on where you want to go. And for this case, we're holding on the right arrow key. So now that's out of the way. We'll start off with the easier one first as it's the most straightforward one. So what you're going to do is to just head over to the ramp, do a simple U-turn to the right and land on the other side safely. And that's pretty much it actually. This one is perfect for beginners and I highly recommend to take the shortcut this way if you are newer to the game. Now let's move on to the second way aka the medium difficulty way to do this. This way is actually pretty safe and is basically risk free. The objective this time is similar to the easier method but instead of landing in the middle of the track, you have to land on the ramp on the opposite side. Personally, this is usually what I do because it allows me to jump over the electrical trap because sometimes you can't really predict when the electric comes out. So I would say that this is probably your best bet when it comes to the shortcut. And to do the shortcut perfectly, all you have to do is to take the jump a little bit to the left so when you U-turn to the right side, you are able to land on the ramp to perform another jump. So once you're on the other side, just spam the jump key to avoid falling down from the track. Now, there is one common problem that most people face while doing this and that is losing blue fire by accident. One of the biggest tips that I can give you in order to prevent this is to simply just let go of square before you've landed from your jump because chances are that you are still holding the brake button while you're on the ramp and that will cause you to lose your boost almost immediately. And now let's move on to the third one which is actually considered to be the hardest one. This actually requires a very specific setup, precise timing and almost perfect cut control coordination. While this is certainly a high risk maneuver, it is no doubt the fastest way to take the shortcut. As I've mentioned before previously, this is what speedrunners use to blaze through the track. So here's a few things you can do yourself to set up for this high risk, high reward type of play. Start off your entry into the shortcut by drift boosting directly after this small bump, just before the turn to the right. Proceed to drift boost 3 times towards to the right side. And what you're actually aiming to do is to position your car in a way that is facing directly towards to the other side. Aim to jump immediately after touching this small part of the ramp on the bottom right side. If done correctly, your car should be able to fly towards to the other side. Be extremely careful to not bump onto the ramp here. Remember that your aim is to enter to the other side directly from here. And what I would like to do is a little small U-turn, just a little bit, enough for me to avoid bumping onto the ramp. And if done correctly, you should be able to have the speed and precision to make it to the other side. Personally, it took me a crazy amount of trial and error to finally get this down. I'm not perfect at this yet, but at least I know the basics of the setup so when the next time I'm risking for this high risk, high reward type of play, at least I am well prepared. <laughs> Boy. So that's basically the 3 main methods to take this U-turn shortcut. However, I would like to add on a side note by one of my subscribers, Mr. Macho Globe, that there is a fourth way to do the shortcut, which is by far the hardest one. I've personally never seen it before, but he mentions that if your timing is perfect, we are able to jump high enough to completely skip the bridge and lasers, which is this blue part of the track here. I've personally never seen anyone done that before, so I don't have a click for that yet. 
But thanks for pointing that out to me, much appreciated. So overall in conclusion, if you ask me, I prefer to do the method where you have to jump onto the ramp on the other side. I find myself much more consistent this way, plus I'm able to jump over the lasers anyway. So it's actually safer for me and also not too slow. But in the end, it really depends on what you are actually comfortable with. So if you're a high risk, high reward type of player, definitely experiment with the harder option and see how it goes for you. So that's basically it for the three main ways to tackle the Electron Avenue shortcut. This video took a bit of time to make, so it would be great if you could support the channel by clicking on the subscribe button and liking the video for more tips and tricks like this one. Also, this episode is part of the Crash Team Racing Pro Tips series, so if you want to check on other shortcut guides, click on the left here, or you can click on the right side for a full playlist of my Pro Tips series, which includes drift boosting, air braking, U-turning, how to win more races online and many many more. This is DViper signing off and I'll see you in the next video.